It's about two siblings and I'm one of them from Brooklyn, New York. Our mom is a single mom. She works double shifts. She works really hard, but it's really hard to get to spend time with her. And she's basically scared to come back to Hawaii because she lost the love of her life last time she was here. So we come back because her dad, my grandpa that I never met before, has a heart problem. And we don't want to be here. I mean, between us being from New York, it's very different. It's a very different envi environment. It's very hot. There's chickens around parking lots. It's just not something that we're used to. So when we come, we're, we like really, we hate it here. But the more and more time we spend here, we find out the true meaning of Aloha. The movie's got so many good, rich moments, whether it be celebratory moments like we're filming right now where we find ground zero, whether it be fearful moments where we're running from the night marchers, whether it be romantic moments where Hana and E have their, their final moment where they're together in the hospital getting ready to kiss, whether it be um, classic brother and sister banter like Peely and E have, or, or the creation of a friendship like uh, Casper and Peely have. There's so many rich moments that I think the movie encompasses all of them into one amazing, family-friendly, beautiful film. Finding Ohana is, for me, in like two sentences, it's about two kids, brother and sister, who through a series of extreme, crazy, adventure journey events, uh, reconnect with their culture and eventually uh, their, their family, their Ohana. This movie, Finding Ohana, it's all about uh, family reconnecting with their roots, um, having a great time in a new place, and a really fun action-filled treasure hunt, which is super cool. One of the, the, the most asked questions from Goonies fans for the last, you know, 30-something years is, were we ever going to get a Goonies 2? And I think finding Ohana is as close as we'll ever get. It's just like Goonies, it's about them finding, you know, a, a treasure map and going on this amazing adventure, you know. I mean, there's no better story than that. My character, Peely, she's a very brave girl. She's very strong. When she wants to do something, she just goes for it. She doesn't second guess herself at all, and she's really brave. And that's actually my favorite thing about her, is how much confidence she has. And I love her bond with her and her brother because I think it's really funny. Peely is a very brave, strong girl. When you ask her to do something, she doesn't second guess herself about it. She just goes for it. And I think that's one of the things that made me really excited to do her. She's a very exciting character. I mean, she goes geocaching and she does a bunch of fun things with her best friend Yoli in New York. And I think it's just really cool because I feel like the character can personally relate to me. I play the role of E. Uh, and I'm the most stubborn of all of the characters. I am New York in and out. I know I was born and sort of raised in Hawaii, but New York is my heart and soul. I'm very, very clean, I'm very, very organized, and I'm a complete contrast to my sister Peely in the movie. And through the movie, I definitely have, I feel like, the largest arc that goes from this New York clean, germaphobe, always organized, to falling in love with a, like a, just from the island Hawaiian girl and then ending up, you know, on the other side, which is learning my culture, loving my culture, loving my name, actually going by my full name versus my one letter New York styled nickname. Um, and it's really, really cool getting to embody that because I feel like as somebody who thinks culture is super important, getting to play somebody who goes from A to Z is a, is a super great experience. Casper, he is, he lives on the island. He is 12. He really cares about, you know, the nature and aloha and all the things that, you know, about where he lives. He's a dork. He is really smart. Hana calls him a walking Wikipedia page. Leilani is um, the mother of Pili and, um, and, and Ioane. And, um, and she has lost her husband uh, 10 years before this and decides to move her and the kids to New York uh, where she's been a struggling single mom 
and uh, she comes back to Hawaii when her father Kimo has a heart attack um, and um, and when she comes back she has to face all of her issues and um, and face all of the things that she ran away from. Kea is Peely. Well, Kea doesn't like mango and she actually knows how to swim, but other than those things, Kea really is Peely. Like Kea is so brave. She's fearless. She's a little brash. Um, and so it was so wonderful to see Kea just lose herself in the role. It was just remarkable. I see Lindsay as the, the soul of, and almost the docent of Hawaiian culture. You know, uh, her character, Hana, is um, not only Hawaiian um, and a proud Hawaiian, you know, there's a part of her that wants to leave and pursue something else, but there's a great fear of, you know, leaving Hawaii behind. I am from Oahu in Hawaii. I'm from Kapolei. And growing up here, it was actually really fun. Now, when I say fun, there wasn't much to do here. I mean, it is where my dancing started, so I appreciate it a lot. I love the home. Everyone is so friendly here. I mean, you could literally shaka to a stranger on the street and they'll pretend that you're their family member. So loving and friendly here, and I think that's one of my favorite parts about it. So far, filming in Hawaii has been crazy. You know, I've been out here for vacations or to visit my sisters when they were going to college out here, but I had never been out here for this long of time and obviously here working and getting to stay in a beautiful hotel and, uh, and spend all of our nights off really exploring the island, places that I hadn't been before. So it's been very, very cool. Fish out of water in real life because I'm so used to the, the city craziness of Los Angeles. And so getting to be out here and really live this island life for the last month has been an amazing experience. It's so pretty. Everything here, like the skies are blue all the time, and when it rains, it only rains for like 30 seconds. Okay. It's so pretty. The temperature is perfect, and the, uh, the breezes are unforgettable, and the visuals are insane. We shot in Kualoa yesterday, and everything that you see online about these places with all the beautiful mountains and green everywhere, it's so much better in person. Finding Ohana is a film really about being true to who you are and where you come from, um, especially as a character Hana, I like to bring light to the backstory, especially of the Hawaiian culture, and make you realize that you don't have to be ashamed of where you come from. I can feel myself like being really proud of my Hawaiian culture and bringing it to the screen, and that's the biggest thing. We've, as Hawaiian people, have never really been represented on the screen on such a big platform. She right off the top came to me, which again sets the tone with her. Day one was like, if you feel like anything's not correct, I know you went to school in Hawaii, you grew up in Hawaii, let me know. Because if anything's wrong, no question, we're fixing it. She wanted to make sure everything was accurate to a T. So I'm originally born and raised on Maui, and we are filming in Oahu, which this is the ultimate dream. My ultimate dream is booking a job and being able to come home and work. So being surrounded by my people and my culture back home has been just so life-changing. The best part of filming back home is that I'm the pro here. <laughs> I mean, no one else really knows a lot of these places or tried a lot of these foods, so I'm we're just, I mean, we're eating our way across town. I am part Hawaiian, and, um, and this really is a story about Hawaii and Hawaiian families and, um, and, and, the, and the culture and the language. I mean, I actually get to speak Hawaiian in this, which is awesome. And, um, and it just, it, 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 it's so respectful of the culture and, and the people and, um, and just being able to, to, to show the rest of the world uh, who we are and what we're about and sharing our aloha spirit, it's, um, it's really so exciting for me. It was so important to me to represent this film as authentically as possible. This is a movie that uh, I want Hawaiians and Asian Pacific Islanders to look at and say, wow, these people did their homework. And that would make me very, very proud. 
It's really so delightful to see our characters go on this journey to not only coming to accept and embrace their Hawaiian heritage, but to love it and to feel fiercely proud of it. We've got native Hawaiians here in the crew, which is nice to have behind the camera and in front of the camera. Uh, I've had the great chance of working with Kelly Hu, who is from Kamehameha High School. And I married a girl from Kamehameha as well. And uh, I never get to play Hawaiians. I usually play the bad guy, you know, or uh, I'm also part Native American as well as Polynesian. My father from Tahiti, my mother from Hawaii, my grandmother from Maui. So uh, what an honor for me to play this part. Working with Casper, Owen, Taro, he's a lot of fun as well. I think, honestly, everybody on set is fun. Um, he's basically like my best friend. When we're not on set, we're still hanging out. It's just good vibes between us, and I really like that. Alex is honestly like a real brother to me. Even when we're off camera, we still argue and fight, which is funny, so it actually makes it a lot easier for when we do have to argue on camera. My favorite thing about working on this movie is that Jude loves letting us kind of improv, do whatever we feel, um, try new things even if it's not written in the script already. And so um, she does this thing called Fun Run. And when she says Fun Run, it's like whatever it goes. Like literally you can make jokes, you can go completely off script, you can talk about whatever you want. Uh, so I'm very, very excited. Hopefully she lets us do a Fun Run. Let's go. Everyone on this cast, they're so fun. Alex, Lindsay, and Kea, and Mapuanas and, and uh, Nurse Nurse Tina and you know all of everyone, Kimo, Leilani, they're all so fun. I think my other favorite part about this uh, this film is that the scenes that we do are just so much fun. There are so many times when like Alex will make a funny face or Kay will just do something crazy and I, we just start laughing or like we cannot keep a straight face. Me and my cast, especially Owen, Kea, and Alex, we bonded since day one, and since then we're like brothers and sisters. I call them my little K and my little O. Alex Iono is the class clown. Um, sometimes you meet certain actors who, you know, I call them like the Ferraris of comedy. You know, you don't want to keep them in the garage. You want to let them out and race and race and race and race. Well, he was one of those actors, you know. Again, first time actor but so in touch with his feelings. He was absolutely hands down the most experienced person on set and also zero ego. You know, Owen, um, as experienced as he was, I think always made the other kids feel like he never lorded that over them. You know, he was always helpful um, and always as earnest and as prepared um, as anybody else. So Owen was an absolute delight to work with as well two years have passed and we're still working on this movie um, but what a privilege like every day is a joy I I wake up happy every day and so grateful to have had this opportunity to get to tell this story so it's truly a gift what a cast I'm not talking about myself I'm gonna talk about these four wonderful folks these young stars of tomorrow you know Kea oh my gosh a big ball comet flying through the sky, landing here on Earth and playing this part. She's wonderful. Uh, she plays my granddaughter. Or I should say, I play her grandfather. She's terrific. I love her. She's like my Ohana already. This is my first movie, so I don't really have anything to base my judgments off of, no context, but Nigel and his squad, the set design team, made this look so real and so authentic that as we were acting, we didn't really have to act that much. We just got to experience these waterfalls, even though they weren't even real, we got to experience them and feel them as if they were real because the set design was so amazing. What made this set so awesome, I mean, first of all, look at this. I mean, every set here has been so complex. I've never seen anything like it before between the waterfalls, the bioluminescent caves, they're building inside and outside. I mean, and also with our real sets, when we've been on the caves, like, I mean, this is real life nature. It's been really cool to experience all of it. This is the, uh, what we call the waterfall cave, and this is the uh, penultimate set in the film. 
where the um, where the, the children are, are introduced to this um, this you know fantastical landscape. Um, what you have to imagine when you're looking at this now is that there's waterfalls coming down pretty much all the surfaces you can see here. And over in the far corner, if you can see that doorway, um, that's a secret door that leads to the treasure cave. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking? 27 people died, including the director and cinematographer, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice off the coast of Newfoundland. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.